What's up, YouTube? Derbador and Weldor here. I know another video. It's one of those. It's one of those weeks. But old Super Duty out there, her battery be dead. And dang thing, if you park it facing up a hill, it don't want to start. So I had to coast it back out the driveway and then to the road to be facing downhill so I could get it to start. Hashtag diesel problems. But yep so on today's agenda i'm gonna be heading out to help noah today and you know pick up some paint for the truck i just grabbed a couple paint guns from harbor freight yesterday so there's something i want to talk about okay and this is serious as hell the trolls are out of control and i mean the trolls are officially out of fucking control Hashtag, warning, whatever. This is a Durbarant. If you don't like Durbarants, don't watch this. This is going to be a Durbarant. The trolls are out of control. These guys are so out of control at this point now. They have gone from leaving hateful, spiteful, you know, bullshit things on my YouTube to now they have found my Google business listing and have started to leave me fake bad reviews. I'm going to put a screenshot or a picture I have of it up here for you guys straight from my computer. All right. This is how bad these trolls have gotten. They, have, they are now pretending to be customers of mine. That I have obviously posted about in YouTube and Instagram. And are, they are faking to pretend to be them. And now they are posting fake reviews as them. On my business listing. Not my Instagram where I go, you know, to fart around. Where it's really not serious about business. My google business listing which is my most serious business listing for my company which is integrity welding llc because everybody probably already knows the name of my company by now so and can find me so you know hey world you can find me here i am come fuck with me you know and all that shit but yeah i a little fucking ridiculous and i'm going to explain how i figured all of this out all right I'm going to explain how I figured all of this out. Push right there. So, here's the deal. I'm going to take this off so I can hear myself. It's about 7.30. 7.45, 8 o'clock last night, actually. Somebody posted to my company Facebook page, which is linked to my Instagram. And my Instagram is linked to my YouTube. Right? So you can go... From my YouTube to my Instagram and from my Instagram to my Facebook business page. And you can pretty much find me from my Facebook business page. Which everybody so far has been fantastic. I mean, I've gotten jobs from people who are subscribers. I've gotten stuff cool stuff sent to me in the mail. I you know, people call me, I get pat you know, I get pats on the back, I get to actually talk to you guys over the phone instead of just through comments and stuff and things like that are absolutely fantastic. That's why I got this so I can talk to people as I drive. And you know, I don't mind that. I actually welcome it because I'm trying to help everybody out. I want a working community. Someone has abused this. And his name is Chronic Soulhan, Soulchin. However, however you say it. I don't know how to find out if he subscribed to my channel or not. But this is how it all went down, all right? We'll start from the beginning. We're going to go over what happened. So, first, it was a post to my Facebook It was a post to my Facebook company page which said don't hire this hack for any aluminum whatsoever he doesn't know what he's doing I had a, a friend of mine recommended him because he was installing handrails for him so he came out and welded this pressure tank on the truck for me it leaked so I had to take it to a shop to get fixed you know that was the general gist of it and, I, and it was and Instead of it being a personal account writing this, it was a page, another Facebook page writing to my page called East Coast Canna Cure.
as in East Coast, where I live, and canna as in cannabis, and then cure as in getting healed. It's like, the fuck is this? I've never worked for a weed company before. So I deleted it. I've never worked for a weed company before. You know? It's like, I don't know who the hell you are. But then I PM'd him and said, if you have any issues with my work, please give me a call with my phone with my phone number and I'll be glad to help. 30 minutes later, there's a negative, there's a one-star review on my Google Business page. A one-star review on my Google Business page. And I can't, I'm filming off my phone right now, so I can't pull it up. I'm going to read it off as best as I can remember. It says, basically, don't hire this hack for any aluminum. You know, he welded some handrails. I got his number from for a friend of mine who he welded some handrails for. He installed the handrails. All the handrails wind, wound up being warped and looked like shit. And he goes, that's besides the point. The point is I had him come out and weld an air tank on my tractor trailer truck. He welded it up. And I got down the road and it was leaking from three pinholes. I had to call in a, and I lost all pressure to my brakes. So I had to call an emergency roadside welder to come out and fix it. And he fixed it right. Daniel put, basically he said, Daniel put a bunch of beads on it. This welder ground an inch and a half of my splattered on beads off and put nice pretty beads on there. And now it's fine. I did do handrails and an air tank like that at the exact same time. You can go back to um, Spring Rush, one of my Spring Rush videos where I'm talk, where I'm talk, where I'm doing that. I'm in the middle of doing that. This is so. This is a Google review. It doesn't get deleted. It's there forever. One of the things I had above all the other welders here was five stars. That was my edge on every other welder in the county. All the other ones are old, most of them don't care, it's like, oh, you know, whatever. Some of them are like that. That's why they have 4.5, 3.83, two stars. Me, I was a constant five. And I got lots of business from just being a constant five star, right? From being at the high end of my reviews. This bothered me. I honestly thought for a second this was that guy I fixed that air tank for. So I left the reply, you know, I'm so sorry to hear that. Please give me a call at my phone number and so we can get this sorted out as soon as possible. And I started, <laughs> sat back, I started thinking about it and I'm like, stuff ain't adding up. I'm like, he didn't get, that guy I fixed that air tank did not get that number from the guy I was making the handrails for. He got that number from Russ, who's a welder I've been working with. He got my number from Russ. And I found it interesting, his Facebook story, the, the review he put on Facebook, it said that he, he took it to a shop and had it fixed. The story on Google says he had to hire an emergency roadside welder to fix it. But in both reviews, he says that he got my number from the same guy I built the handrails for. And the guy I built the handrails for won't happy with the handrails. So, I did my due diligence. I emailed the guy because me and him, I did the handrails for. Me and him communicated through a lot of email. I emailed him. He emailed me back this morning about 7 o'clock and said he is... I, bet, I didn't tell him what was going on. I said, hey, you know, is everything fine? You know, I'm just doing a follow-up. He emailed me back. He said, everything's fine. You know, he had a couple little here, there questions, which are no big deal. Nothing like, they're warped to shit. What did you do? And it's like, oh, that's Noah texting me. I He, he, he got the first scoop on everything that was going on. I'm, ugh, I've. He's going to be hearing me rant all night. I'm sorry. In advance, no, if you see this, I'm sorry. I'm going to be ranting all night. You're going to hear about this all night. <laughs> so I'm going over there tonight to help him with a truck. But you're going to hear about this all night, no. I'm sorry, all right? But there are too many inconsistencies. Now, the guy who did the ha I did the handrails for said he's perfectly happy and loves it. He said, you know, you were on time. You know, everything's fine. You were on time. Handrails done. Beautiful exactly how I want them. So I was like, all right, cool. And I'm like, all right, 
I still have the number of the guy I fixed that tank for. I still got his number saved. I'm going to suck it up about 10 o'clock this morning. I called him. Figured that'd be a good time. He picks up. He's like, hello. I'm like, hey, this is Daniel Herb from Integrity Well. And he's like, oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Right off the bat, that does not send off, I'm pissed off at you to leave a bad review. So I'm like, hey, good, you know. Um, so I told him, you know, there's a review on my Google page that very closely resembles the job I did for you on that air tank. Um, is there an issue that we haven't discussed? Are you still happy with it? He's like, well, I'm driving that truck right now with your welds on that tank. It's fine. I got brakes and everything. It's like, I've had brakes for the last three weeks. <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah, because somebody left a review on my Google page and it very closely resembles the job I did for you. He's like, well, I tell it, I, he's like, I can tell you it won't me. He's like, that's all I can say. He said, I can tell you it won't me. I don't know. He's like, I don't know what to tell you. And I told him, you know, I, I apologize for taking up your time. You know, I didn't mean to take up any time. I just had to cover my bases and, you know, make sure everybody's happy. And he's like, oh, yeah, I totally understand. You know, you have a good one. You know, and that was that. Then I pretty much started putting all this together last night, but I had to go cover my grounds before I did all this. Yesterday, I posted a review of my channel update. A subscriber sent me this awesome plasma cut state of North Carolina with integrity welding in the middle and the star right above Lewisburg. Oh, yeah. I love it. I'm a hometown boy. I love my hometown. You know, and you know, that right there, ah, it's awesome. I know I have trolls that don't like me who are subscribed to my channel waiting for an opportunity to pick me apart. And I'll tell you, this is how it went down. I guarantee it. I post that video. Now this guy who wants to be a troll and make me make me look bad to people and you know because I've had some awful people I have people cuss at me I've had people you know threaten to go to the AWS and get my certifications taken away I've had people just be awful in the comments absolutely disgusting in the comments just disgusting people in the comments so I this is what I figure happened this person got tired of just leaving comments and me poking back at them like I don't care go away they decided they as soon as they saw the state of North Carolina of integrity welding on it they were a hundred percent positive which business was mine because there's like three other integrity weldings one's a school and one's out in the Midwest somewhere they were a hundred percent certain which integrity welding was mine they decided they would go through my Instagram, then to my Facebook, and leave that to see what happens. After I deleted it through a fake profile, by the way, which I'm, which I've proven what, which I went through and did my research, and it was a fake profile. That guy, I deleted that because I was like, "What the heck? It's coming from a fake profile." Then after that, they saw I deleted it and were like, oh, well, you think you're so smart? We'll go to your Google listing where you can't delete it. So they go to my Google listing and they leave a big more drawn out. And also the second review, the review on um, Google used my name, it said Welder Dan. The one on Facebook did not use my name and he got my name because when I replied to his when I messaged him on Facebook I messaged I made the mistake of messaging him with my personal profile instead of my business profile so he got my full name now he had my full name to use when he made his second false review so then he goes to make the second false review on Google. And I leave a courteous professional reply that says, I'm sorry to hear that. Please give me a phone call at my phone number. I expected that if it was an actual person who was angry, who would leave two bad reviews, bam, bam, like that in a row, that they would immediately call that number and call me up to cuss me out. That didn't happen. So, the troll who did this, were you trying to make me upset? You damn did. 
You trying to make me lose sleep? You damn did. <laughs> you know, you trying to ruin my business reputation? You probably damn did. And you don't understand. I worked hard to build this business. I'm sorry that you have not put in that time to build your business to get to where I'm at. I'm sorry that you're butt hurt over something I did. I'm sorry that somebody like me butt hurt you or whatever. I'm sorry. It's like, suck it up. Grow a fucking pair of balls because you're never going to be a welder with that kind of keyboard commando bullshit attitude. All right. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to try and get this false review removed. I'm going to bring my evidence to them and try to get it removed. Because this is bullshit. This guy, and the thing is, if you go look at my reviews, my two five-star reviews I have are from people who leave reviews. One of them being my brother-in-law, who is the son of my father-in-law, who hates my living guts. And it's a five-star review. That should tell you something about who I am. I have a five-star review from the son of the man that wants to see me dead. <laughs> Think about it. The other review is from a guy who's left at least 12 reviews. This review is from a fly-by-night. It's from like some kind of fly-by-night Google account that has only left one review ever and that's for my company. And people, and, you know, and some people just don't understand like, oh, it's one bad review. That one bad review makes me look horrible. I went from five stars to 3.7 like that. A matter of seconds, I went from being, from being when you pulled up welders, the best to average. And that first impression means everything. That means everything. I Like that trailer I fixed, that guy said, I've, I looked you up online, you got a bunch of good reviews, so I'm bringing it here to you so it can get fixed right. See? If he had looked it up right now, I look like everybody else. Now I don't stand out. So, troll, you may have won now. But I'm after you. I will get this dealt with. Alright? This will be dealt with. So, thank you guys for sitting through my Durba rant. You know, I'd say like this video and subscribe, but I doubt anybody's gonna like, gonna really like this video or subscribe because of this video. But I'll have to do an update on how I handle things with Google and whatnot and what the outcome is of that. Alright? So, you guys have a fantastic day.